Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to do the second to last major blue coin hunt in the game. Starting with episode 6's blue coins. The reason why is because they're quite easy to get. You remember that I said in an earlier episode that you would have to clean some of these piantas here and they'll give you blue coins? Well, that's just what I'm gonna do, and I think that there's a total of eight of them that give you blue coins. I guess we're about to see! So here we go! Once again, we gotta go through the village and clean some guys up, and how did I get stuck on that bridge anyway? Oh, by the way, I thought that if you squirt the sign... Well, uh, I'll get to that later. Well, one, one episode, you have to squirt that sign, you'll get a blue coin from it. And there you go. What do you have to say about this? You're welcome. And that's one blue coin. So, and there, here's another one, I think, coming up, I hope. Maybe both these critters will give me blue coins? I certainly hope so, that's for sure. Hey, don't you dare splash lava on me there. And there's another one, so that's two, and you, give me your pocket change! Did you- what? You just- you're a chuckster, you threw me and gave me a blue coin at the same time? What kind of friendliness is that? That is not- oh, I am disappointed in you, man. Anyway, I guess we should continue to clean these critters up, and there we go. No! There's, wait, wait, there's another one right there, that's right. I don't remember if this one gives me a blue coin, though. It's just the kid, but you never know. Kids can carry pocket change, too, and evidently that one doesn't. Dang it! I know those Nokis in uh, Serena Beach carried a lot of pocket change, two blue coins apiece. You remember that they kept getting covered in the uh, electric goop? Yeah, you don't give me a blue coin either? What? What a rip-off! Oh! I am aghast and appalled at your decision at not giving me pocket change. And there we go, thank you. At least you're giving me something, girlfriend. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to this one here. And... Hello there, guy! Come on, just get washed off already, thank you. You're welcome, I'll give you my change. So there's two piantas left and two coins left to find. See, it is indeed eight coins like I thought. So, yeah, it is eight coins. If those two kids don't give you um, blue coins, so I guess you don't even have to bother with them if you don't want to. And what the heck was that? <laughs> and there we go. And the last one, if you don't remember, is way over at the back side of the village here, tucked away. Not very well, though, may I add. He's just kind of hanging out in the goop here, in the lava goop, strangely, as I said before. It doesn't burn them whatsoever. And he's very happy. He'll give me a blue coin. You're welcome. Now, I could have swore. Remember I tried squirting that sign at the very beginning? I could have swore that you could have squirted that sign at the very beginning of this episode. I mean, seriously. This one right here. I... Can't you? Come on. Now. Why didn't that work before? Anyway, there you go. That's all the ones that you need to collect in episode 6. Well, that failed. Dang it! Oh, holy crap. Ah, that works! That works a lot better. Just triple jump off to this one. Basically, I just want to get the little shortcut, you know, just to show it off once on the Goopy Inferno here. And... No! No, no, no! <sighs> I am never gonna get this one, am I? Okay, Mario, this time, spin jump. No! Why are you not spin jumping when I tell you to spin jump, man? At least I survived. <sighs> I 
did it again! I can't believe this! Let's try a triple jump here, and then dive bomb forward! Oh, that works a whole lot better! Well, that's how you do the shortcut, finally! Oh, and, whoa, whoa, no! You've gotta be ki- Oh, thank god! I was gonna be really ticked off there if I- Oh my god, things are dropping on my head, and is there a coin here? Please tell me there's a coin here. There's no coin there, wow! Anyway, there's Flood. Yeah, you have to select episode 3 for some of these shines that I'm gonna be showing you here. I'm not shine, some of these coins that I'm gonna be showing you here. Um, because of now you spin jump, Mario. Now you spin jump, seriously. Now go on top of the golden mushroom and shoot the moon, and that will give you another blue coin. Yeah, shooting the moon just like uh, the game of hearts. Nah. Anyway, now you want to go down and look for another M. Uh, this time, now that you can clear out the goop itself, you can really progress through this place a whole lot easier. There's a coin. Oh, sweet coinage. Oh, health! Anyway, there should be an M somewhere around in this area. Ah, there it is. There's a coin right there. Awesome sauce. And I just got a full health recovery there from collecting the coin. Now there's more I can do in Episode 3. Remember that Pianta at the very beginning of Episode 3 that's on fire? Yep, you gotta extinguish them. I really wish I had the fire extinguisher here. That might be more effective than this water gun here. Though a Squirtle would probably disagree. Anyway, so just keep spraying them until the flame dies out, and then you talk to him, and you're welcome. There's a blue coin. Okay, work your way over to the hot spring over here, and man, this is dangerous. Like, heck, I don't know where I can get up there easily. Oh, okay, here we go. Now... Over here, there's a Pianta-shaped statue thing here. Ground pound its nose! I said, ground pound its nose, there we go, you got a blue coin for it. Alright, episode 5, get yourself a Yoshi, and start spraying the beehives. Yeah, there's two beehives in this level, and you gotta spray them down. Come on, Yoshi, you can do it! Bomb it all over that sucker! Yeah! Shake it off! There we go! Now eat all the bees! I said eat all the bees, not get stung by the bees while talking to somebody. Holy cow, this guy talks a lot, and I want to eat the bees. Thank you. <laughs> uh, just keep your distance, unless you're trying to... There we go. Just keep, like, circling around the swarm of bees so they don't, so they don't get a shot at stinging you. I found this technique. Um, well, kind of. It kind of works, but it works better than just, like, standing in place or whatever. And three more to go for this beehive, and I should get a blue coin for it. Come on, come on, there we go! Remember this right here? Oh yeah! Get ready to take it down! Here we go! Oh man, I'm frightened! Um, what you should do with Yoshi here is... Run to a more open area, like somewhere around here, just so you have more room to fight these bees. What the heck? Did they go inside the tree? What? What the? What happened there? Whoops, I didn't mean to jump off Yoshi there. Ha, why? I guess if they despawn somehow, like due to some weird way, their hive comes back, which makes a lot of sense. Anyway, let's. I guess maybe you can't, like, get him into an open area that easily, so. Uh, 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 uh. Yoshi, I must get back on your back! Pun intended. Oh, poopers, poopers! Yee. There we go. And I'm running out of juice, actually. Maybe I should go get a fruit, but maybe I'll be able to get, get these bees in time. Open area, there we go. Oh yeah! Jackpots! And... Eating the bees, keep eating the bees. There's a lot of them in this hive, I have to say. One more, one more, one more, come on, don't sting me, don't sting me. Holy cow. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Yoshi? There you go. Okay, on top of this mushroom, where the fruit tree is... Yeah, I already gave Yoshi another fruit, just to make things a little more convenient. Get up here and eat all the blue butterflies. At least these aren't harmful like the bees. 
Come on, there you go. I know you're a very hungry critter and you love to eat bugs, but could you eat them just a little bit faster for the audience here? I would really appreciate that. Three more to go, and there we go. Alright, select episode 8 for the remaining coins and go underneath to the catwalks. As I was saying, get on top of the catwalks here and work your way over to this one here. Now, if you look over onto the ceiling, there's a M or a W from this angle, and there's a blue coin from it. That's the only one on the underside of the village. And I forgot to mention way at the very start of a level, there's an M. Guess what you have to do here? Yeah. Right in plain sight, right when you get past the bridge, there's this red M over here. And yeah, scribble, washed away, blue coin collected. Continuing on that path, there's this patch of land, or block of land, whatever you want to call this. This is on top of a tree of all places, so I guess maybe this is part of the tree. I don't know, but next to the fruit tree tree over there, there's a blue coin M. Oh, I might as well get the one that's in the grass at the west side of the Pianta village. Okay, up this annoying tree that I kept having so much trouble doing the shortcut in uh, the Goopy Inferno, go up this tree branch, and would you look at that, there's a blue coin on a secret platform. Who built this platform at the edge of a tree? I don't know, but it's very precarious and I don't recommend anyone live up here. At the end of the river, in most any episode, you can find the blue coin right at there. That's on the east side of the village, by the way. On top of the platform, where you can find the rocket nozzle, there's a blue bird flying around here. You know what to do. You can shoot him down. Um, someone told me in an earlier episode part, I forgot who, that you can actually take Yoshi to lick the birds, you know, eat the birds, and then give you a blue coin instantly. I've never tried that before, so I don't know. I, mean, I probably does work, but I, so I shouldn't say it, it, it won't work. I was gonna say it won't work, or I mean, I don't know if it'll work, but yeah, anyway, you get the idea. Just shoot the bird down, you'll get a coin. Ah, I forgot about this one. Underneath the bridge in this river here, there's a blue coin! Might as well take care of the uh, triangle scribble here, and I don't remember where the corresponding one is. Ah, the other side of the hot spring, okay. I had to see it to remember it. <laughs> so I'm going to quickly go over to that spot and hopefully I'll make it in time before it disappears. And it looks like I got plenty of time to get it. Now I'm just going to reverse my path to collect the other triangle coin, scribble, whatever you want to call it, delta thing, I don't know. And there we go. So now let's reverse our steps. And let's just take this path for the heck. This seems like it would be faster to slide rather than hover across the whole hot spring thing area, and there we go. You remember this one, right? Where uh, El Piantismo was? The, or I should say the end of the race was? Yeah, that's on top of that tree as long as you keep running up. And I noticed there's a platform along this tree here. What is this for? I don't know. Maybe there's some secret Pianta there that gives you a one-up in some other episode, but I never figured out what that platform was for. <sighs> That failed hor horribly. I have no idea what I was thinking before doing that move on top of that tree, but whatever. Anyway, over here, who's gonna think of this one? See that hole in the tree? Yep, there it is. That's the last blue coin. Now, normally there's water coming out of that tree, so who's gonna think of spraying that tree when there's already water coming out of it? And you can actually get that blue coin on episodes that water does come out of it, so... I don't know. Hey, you. You got the goods? I got the coins. Oh yeah, you know what I want. Give me up! Time for the gold coins! The last major gold coin hunt in the game. I recommend you choose episode 1. Now, even though that this has the least amount of coins in the entire Pianta Village, Episode 5 has the most coins if you want to go for a high score of sorts. But this one has very, very easy coin accessibility. It only has 110 coins to my knowledge. 
and but they're just all really, really easy to get. So, let's get to them. Now, you're gonna notice that there's a whole load of crates here. See that, uh, you just ground pound each of them for coinages here. Just, uh, well, most of them at least, I'm hoping. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get some coins from these, and yeah, those poor chain chomplets. They're so irritated and having a temper tantrum. Uh, I cool them off, but I just don't feel like it. <laughs> Anyway, let's just continue to collect coins in these crates here. These are all sitting duck coins here, needless to say, so you shouldn't have any trouble uh, even dodging the chain chomps because they stay on the, those uh, paths. You know, the paths that are like indented around the village. So you shouldn't have much trouble whatsoever uh, even navigating this place in this episode, and I missed a whole lot of crates here, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, two coins there, very nice. And let's see if I can get some more coinage from these. Just, uh, kind of ground pound all these crates as you go, and no problem whatsoever. And, uh, that, that flame just keeps randomly appearing out of nowhere. I mean, those flames from the goop over there. Uh, I don't know why it keeps flaring up like that, but it does. <laughs> I mean, you don't, you don't see lava usually flare like that out of nowhere, it usually just flows. But anyway, uh, I think that's all the crates in, around the bottom area of this village here. Now what you want to do over here is go over to the hot spring and ground pound this, and you'll get a load of coins just for ground pounding the center of the empty hot spring. That is a lot of coins right there, man! <laughs> Over here, some more crates, so let's ground pound these just to make sure I'm not missing anything. And let's just see if I can get all three of these at once, or I can just get two at once. Wait, there's nothing in those crates, really? Fine, fine, be that way. Ground pound that Pianta nose statue thingy to get some more coins. And now we're gonna go over to the side of the village where you can find some more crates. They are those over there, and what you want to do is ground pound each of them to get coins. Hopefully there's going to be a coin for each of them because that would be a jackpot of sorts. Maybe there's going to be one for each coin, I don't know, I certainly hope so. And is that a Pianta? Yeah, there's a Pianta in these crates, what the? Are all the other chain chomps all calm? Oh, she's scared of the chain chomplets. They won't hurt you as long as you stay away from the paths of lava and death and destruction. Don't worry about it. This is, uh, this is gonna go pretty quick here if I get three crates at a time like I'm doing there. I get another three. Very nice. So these all give you crates? Really? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that, that's pretty dang handy, I have to say. I thought only certain ones give you crates, but uh, evidently that's not the case. Okay, now that you got a load of coins that way, you can get your remaining coins by extinguishing and then ground pounding these mushrooms. See the, see the fire here? Make the fire go out, stand in the center, then ground pound it, and you'll get a bunch of coins on top of them. Don't fall off or you might miss your chance at getting the coins, but that's pretty easy to do. So then you go to the next flame, extinguish it, and ground pop. Yeah, baby! And there we go. And now there should be more flaming mushrooms. Oh, whoa, no, 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 panic! Oh, uh, that actually wasn't that bad, after all, because the, the pathways of lava here aren't really that thick, so the chances of you actually getting stuck in an infinite loop of getting hit by lava is slim to none. So anyway, extinguish that one, round pound, get some more coins for that. I'm already at 84 coins. Get over to this mushroom here. Every mushroom that has fire will have coins, that's just a rule of thumb. So just make sure you extinguish the fire and then collect the coins. That's like an easy checklist of sorts to make sure that you got all the coins you can get along the way. Now, that's that last, I mean that mushroom over there should be the last one that I'll need to get to. Oh, very nice move, Mario grabbing onto the ledge for me. And I think there's eight more coins. Careful, careful, and there you go. That's the 100 coin shine. That was ridiculously easy. See what I mean about how fast and easy this one went? Well, I, I never said it would be fast, but it certainly was easy, that's for sure. And 
yeah, that's it for Beyond the Village. That's the very last shine of it that I'm happy to have ended it. The blue coins gave me a lot of trouble in this one. I don't know why, I just died a lot on them, but that's okay. You know, grab your shine sprite and end Pianta the Village for good! Woo! Oh, and I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part.